guys, and welcome back to another episode of Among the Stars Celebrity Perfume Reviews. It feels really weird to be sitting back here and doing videos again. I'm going to try doing videos more often. I'm going to try to get out of my head and have the issues that I have with myself to stop. But we'll see what happens. Anyway, so today is going to be the top 10 most surprising fragrances from my collection, a or the hidden gems, if you will. Um, these are fragrances that when they were announced or brought up or whatever you may have, um, I didn't think they'd necessarily be as good as they are. Um, and they are really, really good fragrances, minus maybe the name on them or who they are or, you know, the thing that everybody else seems to have issues with. Um, but I love my celebrity fragrances and a great majority of these are celebrity fragrances. These are not in any particular order, I'm just gonna pick them up and go at them. Um, the first one is definitely probably the most surprising if you guys are around here. And this is Amen by Terry Mugler. Um, and this is Cryptomint. So I had heard about this and I had loved the idea of it. Um, just I kind of love plays and puns and stuff. So I definitely wanted to smell this and see it. Um, this chocolate and mint done really, really well. Um, it is definitely strong like most Mugler fragrances are. Um, but also the pun on this, so you've got like this really nice, um, sprayer as well. Not a lot of people like this button right here, um, because it is kind of under rubber. But, um, chocolate, mint, a little bit of floral, a little bit of musk, um, that kind of like normal Amen DNA mixed with a lot of chocolate, a lot of mint kind of amped up. So that is a really, really good one, and that is, um, Amen Crypto Mint by Terry McGlair. Next one is um, Spring Rain by Katy Perry. Um, this is the fourth and final installment in the um, Killer Queen lineup. And this one, when they announced it, I was like, okay, is this going to be like Oh So Sheer? And it's definitely not. Um, that was before we saw notes or anything on this. This fits perfectly to its name, perfectly to the story behind it. It definitely does smell like walking through a spring garden right after the rain like it's very floral very wet very ozonic i love 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 this one definitely does reminisce to mark jacobs daisy but definitely more um nature and walking through a wet garden a little bit different than daisy in that way next one is justin bieber's next girlfriend so this is the flanker that not a lot of people know about um this was just kind of released this smells nothing like the original girlfriend um, and it doesn't have the big bulky um, spring packaging around it. This is simple. It is sleek. It's very pretty. I love, love, love this bottle. And I love the, like, weird, like, cuts that are kind of see-through in here. Love that. Um, very tropical fragrance. This smells a lot like um, Escada's Taj Sunset, if you've ever smelled that. It's very tropical, very fruity, very, like, mango-y. So, per usual, and as always, my camera died, and so we're back. So, the next fragrance is KKW Body Number 3. This one, when she announced the addition to the body collection, this was the one I was the least excited for. Mostly because she said it was going to be unisex, and I don't really normally like male fragrances. But, there's something about this that smells like a sexy dude's cologne on a hoodie, fresh out of the dryer, like it still kind of smells like that, but then like your perfume on top of it. So this, like it just smells really, really nice. It's kind of masculine, but kind of not. Kind of unisex, but kind of not. Um, it's just, it's a really, really, really nice fragrance. I don't know if this is still on her website or not, but if it is, definitely, definitely pick up this one. Next up is uh, Paris Hilton's Platinum Rush. This one really, really surprised me. Um, because it's very fresh, very aquatic, slightly masculine, also leans toward that kind of magazine scent that I like. This really, like, surprised me just because I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I did. Um, I've gone through basically one ounce of this, a few little, like, I've dented multiple bottles of this, like, I have multiple backups of this. I love, love, love this one. It's definitely one of my favorites. And it just surprised me for how much I like it. And how different it is from a lot of the other Paris fragrances in the way that it's kind of slightly masculine. Next up is Shakira. This is Rock the Night. Um, Shakira fragrances really don't work well in my climate here in Iowa. Where it's cold and just dreary a lot of the time. And when it is hot, it's very humid. This works definitely closer to 
that kind of like closer to the equator, a little bit drier, like not as god awful humid as it is here in Iowa. Like this just gives you um, something a little bit different from her line. This is kind of vanilla. It definitely has got some coffee in there. Um, it's a little bit dark. It's definitely deep. Um, it is still an eau de toilette, and it, that's kind of like normal for her line. But this is definitely a little bit something different. Um, because most of her fragrances are a little bit lighter and a little bit more um, fruity, a little bit more floral. This definitely is a darker take, definitely with those vanillas, coffee, um, a little bit heavy. It, it surprises you that it is an eau de toilette when you smell this. But you can definitely pick this up for super, super cheap, and it's a really good blind buy. Speaking of blind buys, we'll go with my next one. This is New York Woman by P uh, Pure Police. This smells like apple cotton candy. Like, um, kind of like pink sugar, but without the burntness. I've talked about this a couple times. I stumbled upon this on Fragrantica one day, went on eBay. It was like stupid cheap, um, like under $20. And I really, really, really enjoy this one. It is fresh green apples and cotton candy. It smells amazing and unlike any other sweet fragrance you've ever smelled. And if you can find this one, definitely pick it up as well. The next one is Chloe Nomad. Definitely, I'm someone who likes celebrity fragrances. And when designer fragrances come up with uh, new lines or new adaptations to their main collection, it always interests me to see what they're going to do and how the new line is. And when Chloe announced the Nomad line, I was interested because I liked the idea and the story of it being uh, designed after one of their bags and being representational of that. Um, and then I saw the commercial for it and I was like, ooh, okay, let's see how this fragrance is. It's supposed to be dairy and it's supposed to be this kind of like wild woman who's very like on her own and she's very fierce. And I was like, okay, let's, let's see how this is. And I smelled this in Ulta and oh my god, this smells exactly like the commercial. Um, when make it seem like it smelled, I know that sounds weird, but the marketing people nailed that commercial on the head because it smells exactly like this. This is a transportation fragrance in my opinion. Um, it definitely takes you somewhere different. Um, this smells like suede and kind of like the desert and very, um, wide open areas and sunsets and the color tan and I would love to get the... Um, I know there's an Eau de Toilette and they just did an absolute version of this. I would love to have both of those. Um, this is just an amazing, amazing fragrance. And also kind of smells expensive and how I think a cute little bag would smell as well. Next is We by Juicy Couture. This one surprised me because when I first smelled it, I thought it was just another juicy fragrance. It kind of just fit that normal DNA, that kind of fresh fruity floral fragrance. I sprayed this on and I have never gotten so many goddamn compliments in my entire life. Um, I was chased out of a gas station by someone to ask me what this was. I was told through a um, drive-thru at Starbucks what, like, I smelled good, like, they could smell me through that window. I'm, this fragrance is a compliment getter. It'll get you the most amazing compliments. I've gotten so many with this one. And it definitely does seem like it's underrated and like it's something you wouldn't think it is. And then you get the compliment and it surprises you. So definitely if you can find this one cheap, pick it up. And my final one is DKNY's Nectar Love. This one I actually picked up in Alta first. Um, I smelled it on the tester and I was like, okay, well, let's see this. It's a new DKNY fragrance. Let's see how it is. And oh my god, this smells like... The most amazing honey fragrance, not so much like, um, like a floral, like, kind of like how Marc Jacobs did honey and it was more on that floral side. This is definitely the most pure vanilla, pure honey, mixed with, like, the, um, Viva Juicy DNA. So, if you like Viva Juicy, you like that kind of, like, sweet caramel DNA added with... It's like really, really good honey. You'll love, love, love this. This surprised me. I have another bottle of this back up up there that I've already put a really good dent in just because it is so, so good. I got my sister hooked on this. I'm probably... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I was fighting that so hard. Um, I got my sister hooked on this one. It is an amazing, amazing fragrance. So 
there you guys go. There are 10 of my favorite fragrances. I believe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, 10 fragrances that are my favorite from my collection that are the kind of ones that surprise me. So, um, I'm going to try to be back doing more videos more often. Hopefully, I know I've said it in the past, but hopefully we'll see what happens if I can get more videos out for you guys. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, Ava S. Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links are in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.